Buying a new home can be one of the most stressful and costly things we do. There are potential pitfalls everywhere, especially when you're buying an older property that needs some TLC. So splashing out on a new build in a modern estate should be the perfect way to avoid any nasty surprises. Or so you might think. I've received a call from Joanne Bolton from Greater Manchester. She and her husband, Will, decided they needed a bigger home in 2013 after they received some good news. I'd found out I was pregnant, so it was the next step. The next step was to buy a house. We always wanted to live around here, and we used to live on the estate across the road. Um, and then th we saw this was being built. So we come over and had a look, and there was perfect size for us. So that's why we decided to buy here. The housing development was being built by a company called Persimmon. We went into the sales office. The couple were very keen to secure their dream home. Persimmon are one of Britain's biggest house building companies, creating around 12,000 new homes across the UK every single year. So Joanne and Will had high hopes for the new estate. We explained what we wanted. Um, you know, wanted a three bedroom with a garage. She was showing us what was available. We noticed that this one was available in a cul-de-sac location. So we literally reserved it there and then based on probably a five minute conversation. Buying off plan a new property can be very difficult. And what you see on a piece of paper may not be something that you've put in your mind as the dream house that you wanted to buy. This is the original plan that was on the wall in the sales office when we originally uh, reserved our house. This is, this is our plot here, plot 216. The plot they chose had one major selling point. When we saw the plans for this house, it was clearly on a cul-de-sac. This is the cul-de-sac, and then that would have been a shared driveway with a dead end here. The cul-de-sac was important to me because we've, we've got the little boy, when he grows up, you know, be able to play outside on his bike, which would, you know, all little boys do, and it'd be a lot safer than it being on a main road. That's why the cul-de-sac was really important to us. They paid for Simon £100 to secure the dream plot in the cul-de-sac and agreed a purchase price just shy of £166,000. Persimmon also recommended a solicitor for Joanne and Will to use for the purchase. And four months later, the contracts arrived. We got a letter at the end of March from um, our solicitors and this document um, was attached to that letter and we had to sign um, for the red box and this red box shows our plot. So we, we signed this document to say, yes, that's our plot. But one important part of the plans had been changed. As we was um, looking through this to sign it, um, my husband noticed that the road was a through road. So the day after, he rung the sales office and she told us nothing to worry about. It was just a mistake. Joanne's friends, who were also buying a house on the road, had noticed the new through road on the plans as well. So she then went to visit the sales person for Persimmon and she actually wrote on one of her um, finishing touches forms, drawing on the ID plan is incorrect. Um, this is showing road closed off. So Hannah and Tom have actually got in writing offer that the ID plan is incorrect. The families signed the contracts, and when they moved into their brand new home six months later, the cul-de-sac had been built as expected. But within weeks, Joanne and Will received some bad news. We received a letter from Persimmon's solicitors, just basically saying, because in our contracts the road was shown as a through road, that's what it was going to be, and we had no you know, we couldn't do anything legally about it because we'd all signed it. In general terms, most developers have terms and conditions. 
that are very cleverly written. Verbal information may not be relied on by the purchaser. The letter they received from Persimmon explained that although their road was originally intended to be built as a cul-de-sac, the local authority specifically requested that it be changed to a through road, providing the estate with a secondary access point in case of emergencies. They also explained that because these amended plans were sent to all prospective buyers with the exchange contracts and had been signed, the through road would be built imminently. On the 10th of November, we woke up to the road being dug up by the ground workers. There was nothing we could do about it. This is our cul-de-sac. We bought the house because it'd be good for the baby to play out on his bike. As you can see, he can't, it isn't child friendly. I'm, I'm really annoyed at the situation. We should be living in a cul-de-sac. We're not, we're living in a through road. It's really, really annoying. I would like to turn back time. We would have bought a different house somewhere, quieter or potentially quieter than we've got now. Joanne and Will are not alone. I've heard from four other families on the street who feel they weren't kept fully informed on the planned changes to the road. So I'm contacting Persimmon to find out what went wrong. Oh, hi, good morning. It's Dominic Littlewood. I'm calling from the BBC. I want to speak to somebody about a problem with um, quite a few of your homeowners who have moved into an area. They're disappointed and upset and feel a little bit betrayed. They promised they'll look into the case for me. But Joanna Will's experience is not uncommon. Paula Higgins is the co-founder of an organisation that provides advice to consumers and campaigns for homeowners' rights. She hears complaints from customers of many different developers. There are a lot of pitfalls and worries about buying off plan because developers are very keen to get their customers. They want them to purchase property as quickly and as easy as possible. So you'll find that you'll get the strong sales pattern, but once you sign, that's it. You're left in the lurch. If it's in a brochure, they're not contractually obliged to give you what you thought you were going to get. So don't believe the promises that the salespeople will give you. You must look at what the legal documents say. The change in building plans has not only meant that Joanne and Will aren't living on the road they expected, but it also could have consequences on their long-term investment. If the house is built in a cul-de-sac, off plan, and then that changes, because of various things, and the road becomes a through road, there'll be a risk of road hazards. And so the value of that house in the future may well drop because of those alterations. But sadly, Joanne and Will weren't aware of this when they signed their contract. Consumers really need to protect themselves. They really need to do their research. They need to get a good independent lawyer and solicitor to help them navigate through the process. So there is help out there. And it looks like I might have some good news too. I've got a letter back from Persimmon here and I've been given two different contact names, which is certainly a step in the right direction. So let's give either of these ladies a call and keep my fingers crossed that I can get through to one of them. Good morning to you, it's Dominic Littlewood calling from Don't Get Down. Can you tell us where we are at the moment with, with what's happening with me? The lady who's speaking to me doesn't want her voice to be heard. But she explains to me that since yeah. we last spoke, Persimmon have submitted a planning application with Bolton Council to turn Joanne and Will's road back into a cul-de-sac. It's a good start, but I know it was the council who'd requested a through road in the first place so it's by no means guaranteed that Persimmon's application will be accepted. If the council reject this and it can't go through, can we try and arrange something where we can tell these homeowners that if it doesn't go through, Persimmon are going to offer them X amount of pounds as compensation 
for not getting the homes they thought they were going to get. She told me she'd get back with a response soon, and shortly after the call, I received a letter from Persimmon stating that... We do not believe there is any evidence of financial loss due to the status of the road, and therefore, as all legal documentation for the sales was accurate, we do not feel there are grounds for compensation. However, they also added, We are not aware of any highway grounds for refusal and are hopeful that a planning application will be approved. So, let's see what Joanne makes of the news. It is good news, yeah. It's, it's really good news. Fingers crossed. <laughs> if they do exactly what they say here and the council agree to closing the road off, then, then yeah, it would, you know, we'd be happy with that. You know, we, we want to live what we, were, what we bought. The planning application submitted by Persimmon for the cul-de-sac was finally considered by Bolton Council on the 16th of April and permission was granted. Joanne can now look forward to the peaceful and safe environment for her son that she had been dreaming of. If you're thinking of buying a house off plan, it can lead to your dream home. But do make sure you know what you're buying. Buying a new house is always much better than buying an older house that needs a lot of work doing to it. But in general terms, you will get snags. You will get uh, other bits and pieces crop up during certainly the first two years of the build, uh, which you need to go back to the builder for, and he will usually put it right. If it's in the contract, the developer should be delivering what they've promised. But unfortunately, it's extremely difficult. The contracts are written by the developers themselves, so there's lots of small print.